Hi besties, so before we get into the reading vlog portion of this video, I wanted to quickly show you this amazing reading lamp that I got from BENQ. This is an e-reading floor lamp and I am so so excited to be showing this to you because I have been using it for weeks and I'm absolutely obsessed. So I am showing you the process of me making this and it was so simple to make, it came in only a few different parts and I'm definitely not much good at DIY but it was absolutely amazing. What I absolutely love about this lamp is that it has customizable color temperature and brightness. You can adjust the lighting to any setting you want with a turn of the knob. Also my favorite feature is that there are two different settings for whether you're looking at a screen or whether you're reading a book and I think that that's just absolutely amazing. I've never ever seen a lamp like it in my life and I'm so grateful to them for sending it to me. Also this is a smart lamp so it has a built-in light sensor to automatically adjust brightness which again is just absolutely so stunning. I'm going to leave the link to where you you can buy one of these lamps down in the description box. I would highly, highly recommend. I have the link for where their website sells it and also their Amazon link as well. I absolutely love this lamp so much and it is perfect because we all know that reading requires amazing lighting conditions and this lamp definitely helps me to do that. You will be seeing this lamp featured in a lot of my vlogs from now on because it is my new favorite part of my room. Thank you so, so much to BENQ for sending me this gorgeous lamp and I could not recommend it enough. Hey guys, my name is Em and welcome to the start of a brand new weekly reading vlog. I am so excited to be doing a weekly reading vlog because it feels like I haven't done one in ages because honestly, I've been in such a reading slump and such a filming slump that I haven't filmed a vlog in ages. So I'm very, very excited to be getting back into it. It is Easter today. It is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. I'm trying to be festive by wearing like a yellow kind of blouse but honestly like it's a bit cold outside so I may change. I don't know. But yeah I'm so excited for this weekly reading vlog. I don't necessarily have a huge TBR because as I said I'm just getting out of a reading slump. Wanted to do this vlog because we're currently on two weeks off from school. We're now going into the second week but I just honestly was too exhausted from exams to film last week. But I wanted to do a weekly reading vlog for this week. So let me show you the book that I'm currently reading and then we'll get into all of like my reading plans and plans for the week and stuff. Okay so the book that I'm currently reading is Sweet Dandelion by Macaulay Smeltzer. I have mixed thoughts on this book and I don't really know how I'm feeling about it but basically I picked this book up because last year I read The Wildflower Duet by Macaulay Smeltzer and it ended up being my top read of 2022 so I decided to give one of her other books a shot but I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about it yet. Um, the start of it was very promising. I was really, really enjoying the start of it. Like the first 100 pages, I was kind of like, yes, this is it. I'm now on page 290 and I'm kind of like debating even finishing it. I don't dislike it enough to DNF it, but like I just don't know if I want to continue reading it, if you know what I mean. Like I kind of want to put it down and come back to it when I'm like in the mood to just sit down and read the last like 300 pages in one go kind of a thing. So this book is a taboo romance, which I haven't actually read any taboo romances in a very very long time so maybe that's why I'm kind of not vibing with it either because I'm used to reading like rom-coms and different types of romances that are not taboo but yeah basically the plot of this book is that we have our main character Dandelion or Danny, who is a survivor of a mass shooting. She's obviously got a lot of trauma, her mother was killed in the shooting as well so she now had to move to a different city to live with her brother and she's just going through a lot. She has to start at a new school which is very difficult for her so she has to meet with a school counsellor every single day and the romance is between her and this school counsellor which is just icky. I don't even think it's like the age gap that's icking me out because like he's like mid-twenties, she's 18. It's not necessarily the age gap though that is like very very questionable too but like it's like in her wildflower duet like the the age gap in real life is so not right but like in the book it worked and I can read an age gap romance sometimes because it's fiction but like it's not even the age gap in this, it's the abuse of power. It's like the fact that like she is a student and he is like her counsellor. Like she is confiding in him about the trauma that she faced during this like shooting. And then he's like liking her? I don't know. It's it's strange. It's peculiar. And also I think that it is unnecessarily long. Like why is this book 600 pages? Like I'm literally on page 290. I feel like we should be wrapping this up in like the next 50 to 100 pages but like there's still like 300 and something pages left. Like I don't really get why it's this long like that is so frustrating to me and I think that's another reason that I'm not loving it because I've been in a reading slump and I just kind of like don't need a 600 page romance book. Now, those were the negative things. That being said, I am actually quite liking the book. Like I am, when I'm reading it, I am liking it. Yes, I'm getting like secondhand embarrassment at some stages and I'm kind of like, 
getting a bit icked out at some stages but like I love the way that Macaulay Smetzer writes and like there's something about her writing that just makes you like speed through it and just like really really get immersed in the story so yeah those are my thoughts on this book I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do but I am a one book at a time person as well so like even though I'm not really like looking forward to like reading the rest of this book I don't really want to pick up another book until I finish this one so I may just try and like sit down this evening and tomorrow and like try to finish this out so that I can move on to other books but yeah that is my opinion on this book. I actually haven't seen many people talking about this online or anything. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've read this book. But yeah, that is the book that I'm currently reading. And I don't really have like any other books on my like TBR for this video because I'm like trying to just mood read and just pick up whichever book I want to pick up. As I said, I've been in a reading slump for quite some time. And that's partially because I had exams. But the other reason that I have been in a reading slump is because of the Boys of Tommen series by Chloe Walsh. Finding 13 and Keeping 13, like I literally cannot stop thinking about this series and I just cannot stop thinking about these characters and this world and every single thing about this like I'm just so so in love and obsessed. Actually, I read this book on my kindle even though I do have the paperback but I did read it on my kindle so this morning I actually went through my annotations on my kindle and put them into the paperback. There's so many more annotations that I could add and I do want to add but like when I was reading it on my kindle I was just flying through it so I didn't even annotate half of the things that I wanted to but I went back over some of the main things that I wanted to annotate and I like put them in on the paperback. I don't know if you can see. Let's focus this camera. And I went in and I like put them here. And yeah, I just am so in love with this book and with this series, like rereading even certain passages of it. I was just like, I literally love this series with my entire heart and soul. And I think that's why I can't really get out of this reading slump because I just want to read these books again but like for the first time if you know what I mean. So I did actually end up ordering Saving Six which is Joey and Aoife's book which is Shannon's brother. It's not arriving until Thursday so hopefully I will manage to finish Sweet Dandelion before then and then I can start that book on Thursday and I really want to annotate that book and like really take my time with it and like annotate everything because it's just, I don't know, there's so much that I want to annotate in this book and I just love it so much. And I've also made a playlist for this book or like this series and it's honestly like one of my favourite playlists that I've ever made. I make a lot of playlists, I do. Spotify playlists are like the best thing in the world, like I love them so much. I make them for like lots of books that I read, different moods, different seasons, different everything. And also like my friends and stuff, like I always make them a playlist. But this is my Binding 13 playlist, but I titled it I Think I Need You For Keeps because that's one of their quotes that they say to each other. I was listening to this playlist all morning while I was annotating the book and it was just the best vibe ever. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description box if I remember because honestly if you read these books or you're currently reading these books, it makes the experience so much more enjoyable to like, to listen to songs inspired by the book. Like, I don't know, I just love it so much. Maybe you guys don't, but I will leave the link down below nonetheless. So yeah, I've been listening to this and it's honestly like one of the most painful playlists as well because the book is very sad. Like, I don't know why I'm so obsessed when like this book is damaging, like it's so upsetting. Anyways, let's move on. It is currently just 2 p.m. and I actually have to go right now because my dad is about to pick me up and I'm going to his house for like an Easter family dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna bring this book with me because I feel like, if anyone asks me what this is about, I'm like, how do I explain that it's like a survivor of a mass shooting falling in love with their counsellor? Like, I feel like I can't say that out loud. I feel like that's not really like dinner table conversation. So I may leave my book at home. I may bring my Kindle or something just so that I have a book because even though I'm not going to be reading, I, it's, it feels weird to leave the house without a book. It just does. So yeah, I'm gonna go right now. Happy Easter besties. I will come back to you later if I have more reading updates. If I read more of Sweet Dandelion, I will let you know. But, but yeah, that is my update for right now. Welcome to the vlog and I will talk to you later.
okay it is now monday it is the start of a new week it is easter monday and i actually have some reading updates for you but first of all yesterday was easter and as i said i went to a like family easter dinner it was amazing it was so much fun but while i was there i literally got a call asking if i would work last night so i was working last night from like half seven to like half twelve so yeah that was my evening last night but i do have a reading update because while i was at work i work in a hotel as a babysitter for those of you who don't know so i can sometimes read during work and i had the opportunity to read last night but it was dark so i had to use my kindle so i downloaded sweet dandelion onto my kindle so that i could you know read through a bit more and i've come to the decision to dnf this book i'm not against dnfing books like i think sometimes you need to dnf a book but usually when I'm like over halfway through the book, I don't bother DNFing because I'm like, right, I might as well push through and finish it right now. But like when I tell you I physically cannot read more of this book, like it is no exaggeration. Like I was reading it last night and I was like, this physically pains me to like turn the page because it is just... I don't even want to say it's so bad because like I actually kind of want to know how it ends and like it's kind of one of those where I'm like I actually wish I knew what happened in these chapters without having to actually read them. So I may read like a spoiler summary of them i may just put this down and come back to it at another time when i feel like finishing it off i don't know but for right now i just physically cannot read more of this book like it was just so irritating to me and i was like okay considering i've been in a reading slump this is not helping this is making me not want to read anything and i don't want to say it's like completely the book's fault because i may just not be in the mood to read this book but it's not great it is not great it is just so monotonous and like the same thing keeps happening there's been barely any romance thus far and like that's not a great thing because you know it's a long ass book but also the romance gives me the ick so I'm kind of happy that there's been no romance but yeah I don't know and like this book does something that I really really don't like in like taboo books and actually I've realized that she did it in her other series as well but I didn't mind as much and basically what it is is like she puts in this like other guy in there that is like the perfect love interest and that really really is interested in her and like would be like the perfect boyfriend and I don't even know why she puts that character in there but it's like he's only there to prove like that she wants to be with the other guy like I don't know it was just so awful but I feel so bad for the guy in this because I'm like bro like as much as you're such a catch <laughs> she has the hots for her teacher like i don't know and i'm kind of like why is he here why is why is this storyline there and i'm not even saying that like she has to love this guy because he likes her but like he's just there to be rejected that's just another thing that i really didn't like also the fact that like randomly throughout this book like the author will just try to be like really deep and will come out with like this quote that's like supposed to hit really hard but it's really not good listen i feel like i don't need to speak more about this book because i just really don't like it and i do kind of want to know how it ends up but like also at the same time someone will literally have to pay me to turn another page of this book you know like i just can't do it and you know what like i'm 350 pages in if there was even another 100 pages to go i would push through and finish it but there's like another 300 pages like why is this book 600 pages why does it need to be this long there is no reason like there is no reason for this book to be 600 pages long i'm not even gonna go into more detail about this book because i feel like i've said all that needs to be said but this morning i did end up picking up another book and so far i'm liking it a lot so the book that i decided to pick up was once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber i'm really excited to read this book first of all this edition is the fairy loot edition and it is the prettiest edition that i've ever seen in my life when i got this book in the fairy loot box like I think it was last year or the year before I was literally awestruck like it was so so stunning I am really excited to read this book I know that like this is kind of like a spin-off series to the Caraval trilogy I read Caraval back in 2020 but I haven't continued with the other two books in the series and I kind of don't want to I may eventually but I want to read this book right now there's a lot of hype for this book right now a lot of people have been recommending me this book and also there's kind of like a debate going on in our friendship group over this book because Lucy absolutely loves this book it's one of her favorite books of all time Sarah also read this book and hated the book like she really really doesn't like it so I feel like I need to read it to kind of you know be the deciding vote Bisma and Sophia also haven't read it so we need to make that happen as well so that we can all have like an input 
on this book and decide whether or not it's good. But yeah, I'm really liking this book so far. It's the perfect, like, easy to read fantasy and it's very whimsical and I'm intrigued so far. I'm only on chapter six, which is page 34, but I'm absolutely loving it and I can't wait to continue reading it. It's currently almost 3 p.m. and I have got a good bit of study to do because it is our final week of Easter break. I'm gonna potentially make a coffee, maybe not, I'm not sure, and then I'm going to study a little bit. I have some English essays to write, so I'm gonna write those and I'm just going to kind of be continuing reading this throughout the day and throughout the week and yeah that is my update for right now I hope you're all doing amazingly and I will talk to you all very very soon besties okay it is now thursday and i want to give you a little reading update and also book haul because i have three packages to open i can't remember what page i was on when i spoke to you last but i'm currently 120 pages in to this book i'm on chapter 16 and i'm still absolutely loving it but i haven't read it in a couple of days because on tuesday i went to starbucks and i sat there and i studied for hours and it was so productive like i don't know what it is but like when i'm outside of the house i study so much more like i just focus more so like when i'm in a coffee shop or something so that's what I did on Tuesday I did bring my book with me but I didn't end up reading it I was studying the entire time which was way more productive than I thought I was going to be so that's a win then yesterday I was out of the house pretty much the entire day so I didn't actually get to read anything then either so anything that I read I read on Monday so I read 120 pages on Monday it's currently like 2 p.m and I do want to read a good bit more of this today but I think I'm going out tonight I'm not sure 100% but because like the party is like 40 minutes away and I don't know how I'm gonna get there or home so I need to figure that out but if I can figure that out I'm gonna go so I think I'm going out tonight and that's like a retro jersey theme so we need to wear like an old sports jersey so I text my dad yesterday and I was like hey like do you have any jerseys maybe like from like the you know early 2000s or whatever he absolutely came through he brought me like three like big sacks of old jerseys like from the 80s 90s 2000s he slayed. He absolutely slayed. So I have like a good few options. I don't know which I'm going to wear. But yeah, I want to read more of this throughout the day if I have time. But I do want to finish this book before the weekend because I just got three book packages. Well, two Amazon packages and then an Owl Crate box. And I'm going to open them all up for you, show you everything. I do love a good book haul. So let's get straight into it. I cannot wait. So yeah, this is the stack that we have right now. I think I'm going to start with the two Amazon packages and then I'm going to get into the Owl Crate box. Okay, so we're going to start with this Amazon package. This actually arrived on Tuesday, I think, but I didn't open it because I wanted to open it on camera. So let's open it up. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Oh my God, wait. Oh my god! Okay, so the book is Flawless by Elsie Silver. This is stunning. Like, this is so beautiful. These are the new UK editions. I have been wanting to buy this book for so, so long. And it was literally impossible because, first of all, they had, like, those covers with the people on it. And I just wasn't a fan. Like, I would have read it with that, but I didn't particularly want to, like, buy the paperback when it had that cover. And then they came out with the other special edition covers, which I really wanted to buy. But when I actually went to go buy them, they were out of print because they were, like, waiting for these new UK editions to publish. But these are so stunning. Like, these are literally so, so beautiful. And I'm so excited to read this book. This is apparently, like, a cowboy yeehaw bull rider romance I don't know I've never read anything like that before but I've just been hearing so many amazing things about it that like I'm just so excited to read it and it is on Kindle Unlimited but I decided to buy the paperback because I do think it's gonna like be a five-star read so I wanted to buy the paperback just because of that reason then I have this book package which may potentially be the most exciting book package that I have ever received I mean probably not for you guys like it's not an especially special book or anything but to me to me it is. I know it's gonna break my heart into a million tiny pieces, shatter it, step on it, crush it, put it in a blender, and then put it back together again. And I cannot wait for that experience. So let's just open up this book. I'm sure you know what it is by now if you've been watching like my last couple of vlogs and you know which book series I've been recently obsessed with, you might know. Okay, are you ready? So the book is Saving Six by Chloe Walsh. I, 
I'm so excited to read this book. Like, I'm I am so, so excited to read this book. This is in the Boys of Tommen series, which so far consists of Binding 13, Keeping 13, Saving 6, and then Redeeming 6. Saving 6 and Redeeming 6 are Joey and Aoife's books. Joey is Shannon's brother from the first two books. Anyways, I'm so excited to read this. I love... I love series that follow different characters and different couples. I absolutely love that. Like it's one of my favorite tropes. It's one of my like favorite book dynamics, but I need to be like equally invested in the couples, of course. Joey and Aoife have my entire heart and I've not even read the book yet. Like I I can't even explain how much I love them. I'm so tempted to start it right now, but I know as soon as I start this book, I'm not gonna be able to read anything else because it's just going to actually destroy me and kill me and just, all of the emotions like I just know that this book is going to absolutely devastate me in the best way possible though so my goal is to finish Once Upon a Broken Heart maybe today or tomorrow probably tomorrow and then I will hopefully start this book over the weekend with the first two books I didn't annotate them as I was reading which I kind of regret because there were so many things that I wanted to annotate now I did highlight a few things on my kindle and as I showed you at the start of this vlog I did go back to my physical copies and like highlight and annotate the stuff that I highlighted on my kindle but there was so much more that I would have wanted to annotate so with this one I think I'm gonna try to read the physical copy and annotate as I go and like really annotate this book because I just know that it's gonna be everything to me and I'm already living for Joey and Aoife's story like I want to know more about that but also like I cannot wait for like the little glimpses of Shannon and Johnny in this book like I just I can't like this series just means everything to me I can't even describe it and I need to move on because I've been talking about it for way too long but yeah those are the two books that I hold literally wait so this is pink I know it doesn't show up that pink on the camera but it is pink this is also pink and this is also pink I'm reading three pink books in the minute honestly love that for me pink is very much so my aesthetic as you can tell by like my bed my water bottle my cushions you can see my like cardigan over there is pink yeah no prizes for guessing what my favorite color is anyways let's move straight on to the owl crate unboxing i'm very very excited to open this up and see what's in here this is the march box and i'm so so excited to see what's in here okay so the theme of this month is let's rewrite history which just sounds so stunning okay so the first thing i see is this absolutely stunning box and on it it says bookshop brews souvenir glass tumbler okay so we have like a glass straw as well oh my god you guys this is stunning and i swear i was literally just saying the other day how i need to get one of these glass um like iced coffee things it's carstairs and herondale i don't know if you can see that and i think you can see my reflection but it says carstairs and herondale which is from the Infernal Devices and like the Shadowhunters universe, which also I actually want to read Chain of Iron so badly. Um, this is so stunning. Oh my god, the quality of this. I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. I'm gonna make a nice coffee straight after this unboxing for sure. The next thing I see is this gorgeous pen. Oh my god. I don't know if it's a pencil or a pen. Hang on. Oh my god, wait, it's a pencil. It's a pencil inspired by Babel, and it like doesn't need to be sharpened, it's like an eternal pencil basically is what they've called it. They've called it an eternal pencil. Okay, that pencil is the best thing I've ever seen and it's gonna be perfect for annotating books when you don't wanna like put like pen or highlighter or anything. Next thing I see are these gorgeous literary socks. Beautiful. Okay, no, there's a book sleeve. Are you joking? Nobody panic, everybody stay calm. It's a Kingdom of the Wicked inspired book sleeve. It says, a good book was its own brand of magic. Stories made anything possible. And then there's also a quote from Deathless on the back as well. This is stunning. This is so pretty. I I love a good book sleeve because I bring a book everywhere I go and especially if I'm like bringing a hardcover or like a special edition, I do not want it to get damaged. So I use a book sleeve all the time. This is so pretty. Oh my God. Thank you, Owlcrate. Once again, I forgot to mention I am a rep for Owlcrate. So you can use my code PERFECT15 for 15% off of your first subscription and I would highly recommend. Okay, now onto the pin. You will not believe this, but this is inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart which is my current read. I'm so scared yet so excited to open this. Oh my God, okay. <gasps> Wait, no, this is too pretty. So this is the pin. It says the Ballad of the Archer and the Fox, which if you've read the book, you know what that means. First of all, it's so stunning. It's giving like tangled vibes with the purple and stuff, but then it opens up. Oh 
my god is that not literally the sweetest and prettiest thing you've ever seen in your life i'm in awe i'm actually in awe this is stunning and the fact that i'm reading this book at the minute as well is so perfect oh my god okay i love this okay and now we're on to the book i have not heard of this book before or seen this book before but it looks amazing and it is midnight strikes by ziba shanez this book is so beautiful like look at this like gold sprayed edges this is also like there's no dust jacket on this book like this is printed directly onto the hardcover and it says on the back our fates are sealed whether we know it or not which just intrigues me so much okay stop this is so pretty oh my god okay okay that is so stunning let me look over the spoiler card to tell you where everything's from and also tell you a little bit about what the book is about because i've never heard of it before so i don't know what it's about so paperback bones designed the infernal devices inspired tumblr which is just so so stunning the librarian socks were designed by michelle gray the book sleeve was created by letters by lila and it has a quote from kingdom of the wicked and deathless slay the eternal pencil is inspired by babel and it was designed by divine literary this month's pin is the third in their 2023 pin collection it's inspired by once upon a broken heart and it's designed by no one designs and then our book of the month the midnight strikes is an explosive and enchanting time loop fantasy we follow 17 year old anais who experiences the same night over and over trying to make a past midnight to live to see the next day at the same time anais starts to unravel the dark and deadly deceptions of the court and kingdom sounds amazing can't wait to read it i'm in awe of this owl crate box like i'm literally in awe of this owl crate box once again i am a rep for owl crate thank you so much for sending me this box you can use my code perfect 15 to get 15 percent off of your first subscription i will leave the link down in the description box to where you can sign up along with my code and yeah that is it for this unboxing i am so happy and i'm about to go make an iced coffee in my new tumbler so that's what i'm gonna do but yeah that is all i have to say for right now and i will come back to you later Okay besties, it is now Saturday night and I've just passed the 200 page mark of Once Upon a Broken Heart. So I'm now over halfway through this book. I'm on page 204, chapter 30, and I'm really, really loving it. I think it's so whimsical. I think it's so beautiful. I'm absolutely thoroughly enjoying my reading experience. I haven't gotten much of an opportunity to read this week and I, I did read a bit today. I read like 80-ish pages today, I think. Um, I do wanna read more. My goal is to finish this before the end of the weekend because I am gonna end this vlog tomorrow so hopefully I will get to finish it so that I can give you my final thought but yeah I am just on page 200 right now I think there's like 406 pages or something in this book so I'm like just halfway through and yeah I'm absolutely loving it I do have a couple of theories for what's gonna happen in this book and what like the plot twist of this book is gonna be and I think I'm correct like obviously they're just theories right now and I might not be right but I think I'm right and I think like this design under the dust jacket has kind of confirmed my theories to be quite honest with you um but yeah nonetheless really loving it Evangeline and Jax are just absolute goals so yeah I'm gonna read another little bit for the rest of the evening with my Taylor Swift playlist in the background obviously and I will talk to you tomorrow hi besties happy Sunday it is now Sunday afternoon and I've been reading for most of the morning and I've so far read like 70 pages I think this morning I'm on page 268 now so I've just got over 100 pages left to go this book is really really good I'm really intrigued really really loving it I think it's absolutely amazing and stunning and all of the above and now Evangeline is kind of after like teaming up with Jax and I'm interested to see their relationship flourish because this is definitely like a slow burn because there's like lots of other things going on but yeah right now I'm actually going to sit outside and read it's the first day of the year that it's actually warm enough to sit outside and read like it's not that warm or anything but I'm still gonna make the most of it it is sunny I'm gonna sit outside on my bench and I'm going to read I do want to finish this book I definitely think it's possible I have like just over 100 pages to go so yeah right now I'm going to grab this book I'm gonna sit outside on my bench and I'm going to read to my heart's content and I will come back to you later. Hi besties. Okay it is now 3 45 in the afternoon and I don't have that much time to talk because I'm just about to go collect my mum from work but I just finished Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber and I'm a little bit speechless over how much I loved this book. Literally since like 12 p.m I've been sitting outside reading. Okay my camera just nearly fell and I caught it like mid-air so I've had to bring bring it down a little bit. I truly didn't expect to love this 
this book as much as I actually did and like when I started this video I was in a reading slump no book was capturing my attention I'd started like 10 different books and given up on them after like a couple chapters because I just couldn't get into them but this book just kept my interest from the very first page I can't give too many of my like final thoughts I suppose because they are going to be spoilery and I don't want to do that but I gave this book a five out of five star I think it's absolutely stunning first of all this edition is absolutely stunning and now that I've read this and loved it so much I really wish that I owned the sequel in the fairy loot edition because it is just so beautiful so if anybody's getting rid of their fairy loot edition of the second book to this which I think is like the ballad of never after if anyone's getting rid of their edition let me know I think last night I said that I had a good few theories for this book and that like I thought it was going to be very predictable I was actually wrong about all my theories well kind of kind of the one theory that i had didn't happen yet but i have a feeling that it still might happen in the second book i don't even know how much of the plot is revealed in the synopsis so i don't want to tell anything but like the main thing that we were trying to figure out for like the majority of this book did not predict that should have should have seen that coming but i didn't and it really shocked me and like coming towards like the last like 50 to 100 pages of this there was reveals happening left right and center also Jax is just goals like okay in this book technically he's not like he is a villain but like he is absolutely iconic and Evangeline is so beautiful and she is such a good character and I absolutely love the fact that she has pink hair first of all and she is such a badass and I just absolutely loved everything about this book the setting the vibes I don't even know how to describe how whimsical and beautiful this book was and like how well it was written and like you could see everything like when I was reading like a passage of this book like I could practically see exactly what was going on and like the setting and it was just so beautiful and so whimsical and this is very centered around fairy tales as well and it was just so beautiful so yeah I can't say a huge amount else about this book because I don't want to spoil anything but yeah five out of five stars absolutely loved it so glad that I picked it up and I'm gonna be honest I think I'm going to pick up the sequel this evening however I am ending this vlog right now because it is Sunday night and the Easter break is now over we are back to school tomorrow and it is our last ever term in school but yeah that is it for this video guys thank you so so much for watching stay amazing stay kind and I'll see you in the next one bye